Battletoads review on the Xbox One X. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of reviews, so I appreciate anyone that spent the time to actually go through and watch these reviews. Because we've gone from Hellpoint to Mortal Shell to uh, Battletoads. <laughs> back to back to back. And all of these streams are watchable, obviously, on Twitch. Uh, but the recordings will be saved on Twitch only for a short time period. So that's why I get the end review recorded and uploaded to YouTube so you guys can watch that whenever you want to. Uh, so Battletoads now I had to do this as a review I had to because not only did I play Battletoads when I was a kid um, on the it was either the NES or the SNES I'm not a hundred percent sure actually I think it was the SNES um, but I played that with other uh, platformers Mario Double Dragon and all that stuff you know I, the amount of games that I played when I was a kid on old consoles was insane and Battletoads was definitely one of them itself um, so I had to grab this game so thank you very much to, I, I believe it was Keymailer who granted me access to a key to Battletoads. Let me just make 100% sure um, because I would rather get it right than get it wrong. It was either Keymailer or, yeah, it was. It was Keymailer. So thank you, Keymailer. Um, Battletoads is a 10.8 gig file. Uh, bigger than I thought it would be, to be completely honest, especially when I've played two Dark Souls type games and both of those were half the size of this maybe even quarter of the size of this so 10.8 gig not a massive 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 game but bigger than what I thought it would be uh, it's a Peggy 7 so pretty much family friendly to be honest it, it, it really is quite safe for all audiences it's 14.99 digital pricing and uh, it is available to play on Game Pass as well. So if you are a Game Pass member, you don't have to pay for it for the game. You can just download it and off you go. Um, single player uh, and two to three local co-op. Um, we're going to talk a bit more about that throughout this review itself because it will impact the review, in my opinion. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to break down the review just like we do with any other game starting off first of all with the soundtrack and I salute these guys I bow to them because the soundtrack in this game was freaking phenomenal it was very rock metal guitar drums it was insane it, it, it kept me pumped it kept me energized it kept me it, it kept me hooked in the game and I was loving every single second of it I cannot say anything negative about the soundtrack in any way shape or form and I loved it. It is probably even a soundtrack that I'm willing to probably YouTube at some point and listen to in the background. I, I give props to them again. Um, it was a phenomenal soundtrack from start to finish. Completely, utterly awesome. Uh, effects and voice acting. The sound effects in the game were all on point. I didn't notice any sort of audio glitches or any sort of breakage within the audio. Uh, the move, the combat moves, the special moves, they all sounded fantastic. Um, the game itself started off uh, volume wise and eight as a default. I wonder if they turned it down as a default on purpose because I needed to turn it down just a tiny bit more throughout, throughout using my, um, my headset. Uh, but I didn't notice any audio glitches. I didn't notice any bugs within the audio. It was crisp, clean, and it worked very, very, very well for me. Voice acting is amazing. Every single character that's voiced is voiced so well. There is so much humor in this game. It had me, cr it had me laughing through start to finish. This game has so much comedy in it. It has jokes for the adults, but it also has jokes for the kids as well. Um, and I have to give them mad, mad preps because they I, they clearly put the effort in and it came out perfectly. All the Toads all have their own unique voice actors. The villains have their own unique voice actors. And I can't say anything negative about any aspect of the audio soundtrack or even the voice acting. So mad props to them. 100% really mad props. Uh, graphics this game is stunning it really is one sec the artwork that they use the drawn artwork throughout the whole game is breathtaking to look at it is visually popping bright colors it looks gorgeous really does even the designs of the bosses and the enemies 
all really well drawn, all gorgeous and stunning. It's, it, it, it's just, it's breathtaking to, to, to play through. And, uh, oh, actually, I'll leave what I was about to say to uh, the gameplay mechanics. So I'll hold that for texturing uh weather effects there well, uh, there are no weather effects within the game itself you know we don't get no rains you know it, it, it's not applicable for this sort of a game you know where where if you talk about like skyrim and it's got rain and snow and stuff like that you could easily talk about it but i can't really talk about weather effects for this particular review uh game char character model design and any glitches and bugs throughout the game character model design i can't fault it every character looks absolutely well done uh some of the enemies are simple where some of the enemies are very detailed even though they're very small enemies that you fight um even the bosses itself the bosses look absolutely fantastic and i, I can't say anything negative about it at all all the toads they they look great they all look unique they look different as well um and yeah i i I'm trying to I'm trying to balance this review and think of anything that I didn't like and I can't think of anything at this point I really can't they the the, the um the model designs in the toads when they use their super moves as well when they morph into certain objects as well it's just it, it, it reminded me a lot of that um very hard side scroller um was it cupcake cup something or something like that it, the art style is is quite close cuphead thank you repel it wrote the art style reminded me of cuphead but on a, a whole new level um and it it was it was stunning to go through I'm, I'm not gonna knock it in any way it was absolutely stunning in terms of glitches and bugs throughout my uh five and a half hours of gameplay that's one gameplay done I didn't notice anything that well nothing broke the game i didn't the game never crashed the game never uh froze or glitched or or stuttered in any single way it was it was smooth throughout the whole game uh it was very 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 crisp and clean it it, it there, there were no screen tears uh there were no there, there were no bugging within the enemies themselves or in the battle i did um fall through a platform that because on one of the levels it's a side scrolling platformer and i did fall through the lift um that i was jumping on but i uh, i don't know I, it, to me it, it, it wasn't game breaking itself uh, the get because the game is very generous with the the amount of lives that you get and the amount of uh, and where you respawn as well um, I found that a tiny bit finicky, but that's it wasn't major. It wasn't major, major. Maybe they could do a small patch just to quickly fix that that sort of a thing uh, with the platforms to make sure that if your frog does or your toad does land on the platform, they don't go through it. Um, but there wasn't anything that glitched or the bosses never glitched. There was no bugs that that ruined the experience in any way. So it's it's pretty much irrelevant to be completely fair. Gameplay and mechanics. <laughs> this game is so good. This game did something that not a lot of games do. And that's where they offer you a variety of different play styles. So at times it would be a side side scrolling platformer. Um, you, you have a lot of different mini games that you do which are so fun. They really are, and they again, they not only give you comedy aspects in these mini games, but which make you laugh. Uh, but they put a bit of panic in you as well because you've, a lot of these mini games are all are, are on timers, and you have to achieve certain button prompts. So if you're good at button prompting, this is a game for you for sure because it will definitely test your hand and eye coordination and your speed and your reflexes. Um, but there are so many different mini games in this. Some remind me of the old school space shooter R type, uh, or the side scroller Mario type style, or Donkey Kong type uh, style as well. With when uh, Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong go on the, uh, the the rail carts, and you have to time the jumps perfectly um, in order to get from one end to the other. And I freaking love that in this game. The only other game that did something similar to that was like Near Automata where it, the camera angle would change from a side scroller or a map down version or a space shooter 
Um, it, this 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 game is pure comedy action gold. It really, really, really is. And the mini games will keep you entertained. Um, especially the kids are going to love something like this. They really are. The kids are going to fall in love with a game like this. Replayability and game difficulty. This game definitely has a lot of replayability in it because there are a lot of collectibles that you can find throughout the game itself. Uh, they're little yellow floating crystals. And, and I think it's either four or five per level. Some levels don't have the collectibles that you need to pick up, but the majority of them all do. And and you also get a collectible, uh, a purple version of the crystal, if you're able to complete the level within a certain time. So you're definitely going to want to do multiple playthroughs of it because it alter the 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 character that you choose as a main character becomes like the leader of the group and if you if you have a different character from the beginning of the game that will change the the way the game folds out itself uh because i while i was playing repel uh who had who had also played this game previously chose a different character to me and said that the characters that were in the game in certain levels were different for her than they were for me which opens up a lot more replayability in it because she chose a different main character where I chose, uh, I chose Zit, Rash, Zit, and Zedon, Rash, Zit, it's a P, Pop, Pop, I can't remember, I can't remember, Pimple, thank you, Rash, Pimple is the strong one, uh, Zit is the speedy one, and, uh, Rash is the, the all average Joe type character itself. So you, it depends on your playstyle or what you prefer to, to have throughout the game. Each character with their own unique super moves, with their own unique abilities, uh, image design as well. So again, it, it, it opens up, as I said, to so much replayability. And, and I hope you guys have as much fun with this game as I did because it was a blast from start to finish. Any game customization, uh, none. So that's irrelevant. Stats building, none. Irrelevant. Don't need to really talk about that. Story, if applicable, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> but the story is very easy to follow. Very, very, very easy to follow. And it's enjoyable from start to finish. It really is. It's not one of these games that you're going to sit there and go, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> especially for me with the last two soul type games that we've been playing and we're like what's going on i i i don't get it <laughs> battle toads does a fantastic job to keep you informed uh and and to just to, just to play it's it's like watching a cartoon off of cartoon network or nickelodeon because it's that simple to follow um and it was, like I said, it was extremely enjoyable. It really, really, really was. Online co-op modes, features, and stability within co-op. Now, this, unfortunately, will slightly impact the review. Because I feel that the developers um, behind the game massively missed an opportunity to have this game as an online co-op game it does have couch co-op so you can sit there and play with a family member or a friend but a game like this should be online co-op from the get-go and i am deeply deeply disappointed that they didn't go for it there are so many games that are being remade right now, retro-wise, uh, and Fallout just hit the nail on the head, which I was uh, about to say. Streets of Rage got read, uh, had a had a remaster remake game, and it was phenomenal, and it had online co-op, and it was freaking fantastic. And yet, Battletoads, which is clearly a game that deserves online co-op, has no co-op. And you would you would think in a in in 2020 with all this COVID crap that's going around and people staying indoors that they would have thought ahead, they would have thought do you know what let's make sure that this game is online co-op but it doesn't have it and I'm I, I'm sorry but that is a massive massive missed opportunity 
for not only the gamers, but also for the developers of the game itself who could have made more money out of this. They could have easily, easily made more money if this game was online co-op. Because I know right now, there are quite a few people that wanted to play this with their friends online across the world from each other. And they can't do that. And that's that's a big shame. That is that is a big, big, big shame. So because it has no online, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about the stability or the online features because it doesn't have any. And that's really disappointing. That's all I'm going to say. I'm very, I'm, I, it's disappointing. Purchase price versus digital and value of content. The game is $14.99. <laughs> I have played three times as much for a game that lasted like three, four hours. This game is a five and a half hour game for me for, on a first playthrough with, with uh, obvious replayability. Um, and it's $14.99. It's an incredible price point. It really is. So if you don't own Game Pass, you could just buy the game. If you do own Game Pass, you can download the game. But be warned, Game Pass games do get added and removed. So I don't know if there are any plans on removing Battletoads from the Game Pass. But if it does get removed, it's $14.99 currently. So I guess you need to make yourself a decision. Whether to install the game while it's on Game Pass, play it, enjoy it, love it, and move on. Buy it so you always own it. I guess if you're like a hardcore fan of Battletoads, uh, even from the, the original retro games, I guess maybe this is something that you want to have in your library all the time. All the time, just in case it gets removed. Those options are there for you. Microtransactions and any DLC content. I didn't see any microtransactions in the store on the Microsoft uh, store at the time of, of, of using the key and I didn't see any DLC either. Could they do DLC? Could they do microtransactions? They could do. They could open up to uh, toad costumes or even uh, an extension on the story if they wanted to. So there is definitely options there for, for that to happen uh, but that's really down to them if they want to do that. It's, it's completely down to them. Um, but do I feel overall that this game has value for content? 100% I do. 15 quid is an incredible price point. It really, really is. Uh, any additional notes taken during game? And I was quite busy. Throughout the review, jotting down pretty much uh, a lot of the things that I've already talked about, to be fair. But in case I missed anything... Um, Fantastic. Do, 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 do. Fun mini games. Rock, paper. Oh, the rock, paper, scissor mini game was hilarious. That made me laugh. Normal difficulty was slightly hard to keep track of everything that's happening on the screen. This game likes to chuck a lot of enemies at you. I mean a lot. And some of these enemies take quite a, a, quite a lot of damage before you actually manage to kill them. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm 34 this year. And my hand, hand to eye coordination is clearly slowing down slightly and i found it a teeny bit difficult to monitor everything that was going on during combat and watch out for the throwables and all the projectiles that the enemies were using um but you know what it's it's nothing to really tarnish the review for because i still thoroughly enjoyed the hell out of the game there are easy options obviously you can play the game on easy mode if you want to, which I will do the easy mode just to get some of the achievements out of the way because it's the quickest way of doing it. But there's also a normal difficulty and a hard difficulty as well. A hard difficulty is called Battle Toads. Normal is Toad. And easy, I think it's Tadpole. I think it's Tadpole. Um, so it opens up the game even more for all ages, especially for the younger kids who who want to have a laugh, who want to have some fun and play the game on the easier difficulty so they don't get all stressed out. Because you know what happens when kids lose at a game so much. They they, they tend to they tend to just walk away, give up or just rage. <laughs> uh, replayability in the game due to the collectibles. We already we already spoke about that. 
Uh, the game does have a stage selection option, so you can replay certain stages that you really enjoyed. Uh, the achievements that we managed to do... Uh, let's have a look. Because some people I know are achievement hunters. We managed to do... Uh, achievement list... Bear with me. Uh... 41 41 achievements out of 60 61 so there is still a few that i can do but unfortunately there are some i can't do because they're for co-op only which kind of sucks because if this game was online and those achievements were um allocated to online or co-op play i could have got those achievements are done as well by playing with a friend that would have been that would have been really sweet um, but 41 out of 61 in one playthrough, <laughs> I think that's pretty, pretty damn good. A lot of them that, a lot of them near the end of the game that were popping up were rare ones because this game has only been out for two days. Uh, but it won't be long until, you know, more people play the game, more people get those achievements done. So they're no longer considered a rare achievement. Uh, that's pretty much it everything that i've written down and everything that we have also spoken about within the review itself so the only thing that's really left is for me to score the review and to give it a recommendation on whether or not i would recommend people go buy this so we'll start off with the easiest one would i recommend you go buy this game 100 percent hell yes 100%. This is I am recommending this game to everyone that's a fan of these these style games. Um especially because it has a fantastic price point. It has a, a vast amount of uh comedy aspects within it which will make it will brighten up your day. That and and that's what's great about video games is that they can affect your mood. And every now and again we need a game to make us laugh. And this is definitely one of those games. It's just a shame that they did not put co-op in the game massive missed opportunity that is pretty much the only negative thing i can say about this game the only negative everything else was just on point positive funny and and enjoyable which kind of makes this review really easy to score i'm not going to be super harsh and knock m mass amount of points off of this review because they didn't put online co-op but I do feel it is a missed opportunity for the developers and also a massive, massive missed opportunity for the gamers themselves. So, with that in mind, Battle Toads scores a really good, really high. nine point five out of ten i am happy and confident with that score i uh, i didn't want to be too harsh maybe maybe there were certain reasons why they couldn't do online maybe there's certain reasons why they couldn't do it i wouldn't know the only people that would know are the developers but if the developers ever get a chance to listen to this review yeah right just know that there is a mass amount of people out there that I can guarantee you would have bought this game to play co-op with a friend. And it's something that I feel if you do any more rare type games, remakes or remasters, that you you definitely look into it. You definitely look into it. I could be harsh and take a whole point if I wanted to and have it as a 9 out of 10. But I don't know the backstory of why you didn't do it. And because of that, and because I had so much fun with the game, and I thought the game was fantastic from start to finish with lots of comedy, lots of gameplay, lots of replayability in it as well, collectibles, and just humor overall, I felt that this game deserved a great scoring. Because it, it the, the, even, like I said, the soundtrack and the graphic, everything. There is so much good within this game itself. We had no bugs, no glitches, no real errors, no crashes, no soft locks, hard locks, or anything like that. So, I'm happy ending the review. Battletoads, 
9.5 out of 10. Done.